this is a video to show how I actually work on these paintings from a body of work called Dislocated Histories. What you're looking at is actually a prime piece uh, with white gesso. These are painted on metal. And this is shot in my studio early this morning. This is where I work. Palettes, and brushes, and postcards from some of my favorite painters. And I have a movable tray that I can cart around. And since some of these works can get uh, taller than I am, actually, and can see a full-scale shot of kind of the working images in a uh, full-scale piece, paint on the wall rather than on an easel. This is a painting by a 17th century Dutch artist named Michael Jans van Meervelt uh, from Delft. Holland. It's my palette and I want to look at some of the flesh tones that I use and um, actually set the palette up, arrange the colors pretty much the same from painting to painting. Do a lot of intermixing in the middle. I actually use two palettes, wooden palettes, and uh, the paint on here is dry. I usually scrape them down, but I'll just show you actually how it work. I do work from printouts and drawings and also, as you see, uh, Xeroxes, digital images, and also the computer. And in between those, I reference the color for the actual painting, um, which is what you see here, kind of a close-up. All the elements that you'll see in the painting, uh, the face from the background to the clothing, actually have a, a minimum of about four layers on them, uh, starting from the pure white that you saw. I go in and stain the ground. And I'll build these images up with successive layers of paint as the paint dries, which is what you see here. Um, kind of the fine grain underneath some of this is intentional, and that's one of the layers that I use. Here I've taken the paint off by actually sanding it and things like the lace, which you see there, um, also built up with successive layers of paint as I go through and work on this. The more detailed areas, um, the collar, the clothing from that time period, the jewelry that you see here, is really no shortcut. It's just a matter of going in and painting each of these individual items one at a time. Again, it takes using more than a few layers to get those, and in this case, kind of painting around things. Uh, the gray areas that you see, like right there, that's some of the first layers on the painting. I actually taped those off. You see the finished lace right there, and also this kind of braided chain, which is part of um, thing called a stomacher, which the women wore in the 17th century. And again, I have to reference these from the printouts and the images that I use and layer the paint to make those one at a time. It's about two days worth of work. And again, this is where it all takes place. One painting at a time, mixing the color as I see it, trying to match it, layer it, and um, it takes a few weeks to a month to do one of these paintings. And really, this is where it happens, just on a small wooden palette and one painting at a time on my wall. I like it that way, though.